Hey y'all, it's Danielle and I'm here with Kristen and I'm going to basically follow what she did and just offer you guys uh, a couple little differences and different ways to approach it. So you have your receiver and the beautiful sideline and as Kristen pointed out, if they have a pillow, I like to just lift it up, scooch it on over to create some space in the back for me. So I like to come, I like to take my hip and meet my receiver's hip just like that so they know that I'm here, there's no space, they feel safe, supported, and connected. We're going to come in, hook our hands together, grab onto these beautiful deltoids, your shoulder cap over here, and just lean back and pull. And just pull. And you'll see your receiver lifting up. And just rock back and forth a little bit. How's that pressure been? Perfect. Good. And again, just coming in to that shoulder cap, reaching in and leaning back. And you can lean back towards their hip to create a motion this way, or back away from their hip to open up those pecs a little bit, or even a little bit more out to the side. Mm -hmm. Just opening up that shoulder girdle, softening it, letting us know, letting it know that we're there. I like to do circles, I think just because I like the shape of circles, so they're very round. I think so. You can't hurt yourself with a circle, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Run into a lot of tables. So, got her nice and warmed up. And then I like to come in and using either the palm of my hand or a loose fist, just moving that shoulder blade around, getting supraspinatus, which is that big flat muscle on the back of your shoulder blade. It's kind of a jerk. It likes to get hurt a lot. Feel some tension right here, right where her delts and teres are. I'm going to use little knuckles, just kind of jostling around in there, letting everybody know that we're here to work. Get it in all warmed up. Bring back. And this is just how I like to work. We're all different. And then I also like to come in and compress the shoulder and just do some movement like that. How's that feeling? Mm. So, a little bit of jostly. I love jostle. I think so. It's hard to hold tension when you're being shaken. Mm. So, just come in. And as I'm doing that, I'm just moving my hand in like this kind of a motion as well. Let's get that off. Pull back. Like that. Pull back. You'll see there's a lot. You know, we can come in here and do a little bit of a stretch sometimes. Come across. But we're focusing on her shoulder today. Get that all nice and loosened up. So then I like to come in and bring my knees up to my client's bottom and up to their back. So again, just let them know where I'm at and not coming in out of nowhere to start stabbing places because that's not fun for anybody. So I like to come in and using the flat part of my forearm, just do gentle compressions. You can use the palm of your hand, the back of your hand, your forearm, anything like that, top side. And really, again, it's just that jostling, getting some movement into the rib cage and into the shoulder. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, then what I like to do is to come in, lift that shoulder up, take your forearm right into that armpit area. I know it seems a little bit weird, but trust me, it feels amazing. And just press down a little bit. So I'm using this part of my forearm, pressing into the armpit and onto the ribs. Just pressing very gently and then pressing down. How does that feel? Good. Awesome. It's like I'm hooking. Yes. Then I like to take and just press on the arm because that helps open up that shoulder a little bit. How's that? Wonderful. And then I got this whole other arm here. Might as well hang out. Just say, hey, hips, what's going on? I like to spread just like that. How does that feel? Just spread, add in a little length. 
and spread. How's that? So now I've got my arm hooked into her elbow. I'm just pulling back a little bit. How does that feel? Creating some more torsion in her shoulder to open it up. Not everybody can handle that, and that's okay. We just try to meet our receivers where they're at. I love Kristen's feet and back. Oh, that feels so good. So that's where you come in. And you take your top foot, find it right along the shoulder blades. Here's her shoulder blade in this area. It's gonna go right below, support it. I like to come right below the elbow into this nice meaty part of the forearm and just gently pull back while I gently push in with my foot. How does that feel, Kristen? Awesome. You feel her arm, it's tight, her shoulder's tight, but it's slowly, slowly letting me in as I just lean back and pull back a little bit. 